Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to the sixth Reader's Workshop, the quarantine edition with me, Mrs. Alegria. We're going to dive right in. Make sure that you are all set up with your timeline. We've got the setup that takes a few minutes just to get all of the supplies that you need. And then you're going to have the meeting, which is what you're doing with me right now. You get to read for at least 30 minutes, but hopefully more. And then at the end, you're going to wrap things up and write things out in your reader's notebook what you need to be successful. You need something that you can read for at least a half an hour. You need your reader's notebook. You need post-its. You need a pencil. And you need a bookmark or a tracker and then a comfy sitting area. Many of you have taken advantage of the stop and jot notes. You can add this to your reader's notebook and it will be an amazing addition because it will help you anytime you need to take some quick notes on your post-it notes. Today's focus, however, we're going to be talking about making summaries and writing reviews. Now there's something very similar between the two of these things, but there's also something that's very different. So let's go ahead and take a look. In a summary, we have an acronym that's gonna help you to write the best summary. We wanna know the somebody, what they wanted to do, but what was the problem? So how did they solve it? Then what was the resolution? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in a little bit. But a summary, just the facts no opinions. We want to know a little bit about the story, but we don't want to give too much away because in the review, we're going to need that strong summary without spoilers. We want to have an opinion about it. Did we like it? Did we not like it? We need to have evidence from the text to make us sound reputable. We need to give that recommendation. If you like ponies, you're going to absolutely love this book. You also need to have some strong conventions. So, did you capitalize and use correct grammar? Are people going to trust your review? Or are they going to be like, mm, this person can't even spell correctly? Let's find out. Ah, everybody's asking me, why do I need to know these two things, Mrs. Alegria? Well, very importantly, this is step one in a two-step reader's workshop. Yay, readers! Next week, we're going to be making book commercials. Yes! We're going to be making book commercials and you are going to be starring the book that you just finished reading. Yay! Or one of your favorite books. But you are going to be writing a summary and writing a review on that book today. So it's your turn now, boys and girls. Go ahead and enjoy reading your book. When you're done, you have two things to complete. Please complete stop sharing. All right, so I've already started filling out the summary and review PDF, but if you can't print out a physical piece of paper, you can always do it inside of your reader's notebook. So I started filling it out, summary and review. Make sure you put your name, someone. Who is the main character? For my book, in Shark Lady, it's Eugenie Clark. What did the character want? She wanted to learn more about sharks. What was the problem? Her problem was that she had a couple of problems, actually, if I'm going to think about it honestly. She was a woman scientist, and sharks had a bad reputation. So how did the main character try to solve it? She followed her heart. She got an education and followed her dreams. Then what was the resolution? She became a role model for scientists, female scientists, around the world. Write your summary. Remember, there's no opinions. But here's the trick. We already wrote it. Now, we have all of the information right up here. I'm just going to put it inside. It's going to sound a little something like this. The someone was Eugenie Clark. She wanted to learn more about sharks. But she was a female scientist who faced a lot of questions. And sharks had a bad reputation. So she followed her heart, got an education, and followed her dreams. Then she became a role model for female scientists. Boom! Do you see how I read out loud each part? Here, 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 here. Added to my sentences with a little bit of editing. And I have one, beautiful. Now that we're done with the summary that has no opinions, just tells about the story, now we get to write the review. Now I, I sneakily added book title and author here, so I will write the Shepherd, Shepherd, Diane, 
Okay, I'm gonna shade that down for us. And now your review time. I am going to shade in all five stars because I absolutely love this book. It had it all for me. I enjoyed the female role models. I enjoyed the sharks. I enjoyed the adversity that the main character faced. And these are all of the reasons why I liked it so much. So my review should have an opinion and should recommend it to somebody else. I would strongly recommend this book. All right, so here's what I wrote. I would strongly recommend this book because, that's a great sentence starter. This right here would be a great way to start your um, own review. Now you might not strongly recommend it, but you could say, I don't recommend this book, but I recommend this book kind of, or I recommend this book if, but having this kind of sentence starter will really help you. I would strongly recommend this book because Eugenia is a true story about a young girl following her dreams. She overcomes many challenges, all while discovering more about the mysterious shark. Five stars out of five stars. Now it's your turn, boys and girls. Bye. Hey, boys and girls. Now it's your turn. Keep enjoying your amazing book. Then after uh, your reading, there's two things we need you to complete. One is to complete the summary and review PDF on Google Classroom. If you don't have a printer and you can't print this out, you can still use your reader's notebook to answer the questions on this PDF. Make sure you take a picture of any new stop and jots as well, and we would like to see both these questions answered and a new stop and jot in Google Classroom. Make sure you rename them to submit them before you put them on Google Classroom. And finally, thank you so much for joining me. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Bye, boys and girls. Bye, amazing readers.